Dear student, today we are going to discuss about the narrow band pass filter. This filter is also called as multiple feedback filter. Uh, the narrow band pass filter with sharp uh, selectivity and high rejection are increasingly uh, demanded in this modern era. So uh, uh, let's start with the topic narrow band pass filter using OPM. So here, uh, what is narrow band pass filter? Uh, basically narrow band pass filter is also known as uh, multiple feedback filter because it has narrower bandwidth so narrow band pass filter means it is a band pass filter with a small bandwidth uh, means uh, its bandwidth is narrow so this filter has one uh, op amp with two feedback paths so uh, this filter uh, basically uh, the unique filter among all the other filters because it has some important features like it uses multiple feedback path uh, so uh, in this circuitry uh, here this is the narrow band pass filter circuit using operational amplifier here uh, this is uh, the op-amp IC you can choose any one of uh, the general purpose op-amp IC to design this uh, multiple feedback filter or we can say narrow band pass filter so uh, this is the op-amp IC and here uh, the non-inverting terminal is uh, grounded uh, you can uh, directly ground uh, uh, this terminal or with the help of the register uh, you can ground this terminal so uh, this non-inverting uh, terminal is grounded and here uh, this is your inverting uh, input so uh, uh, in inverting mode we will apply the input voltage V in so this is the supply uh, input voltage V in and here uh, this is the uh, resistor R1 and C1 and uh, this is R2, C2 and this is R3 so as you can see over here there are uh, multiple feedback path this one is the one uh, feedback path uh, between uh, this resistor between output and input and uh, the another feedback path is this one uh, here uh, the capacitor is connected between the output and input so uh, uh, in uh, multiple feedback uh, filter uh, here uh, there are uh, two feedback paths so we can say uh, this is the multiple feedback filter here uh, so it is also called as multiple feedback filter because it has the multiple feedback path and it uses only one open in the inverting mode so as you can see over here uh, uh, this op amp is uh, work is uh, in the inverting mode only because we are here uh, we, uh, the input is applied over here at the inverting mode so uh, this op amp is work in the inverting mode so uh, this is the another uh, feature of the multiple feedback filter or uh, we can say narrow band pass filter so uh, these filters are basically depend on the value of the q factor what is q factor here uh, we can uh, use the quality factor or we can say the uh, fig, uh, q is the fi uh, figure of merit so uh, uh, here uh, when q is uh, greater than 10 then the filter is known as narrow band pass filter so uh, here it depends on the quality factor and uh, when uh, uh, how to uh, calculate the q so here q is equal to fc upon bandwidth and uh, this bandwidth is equal to fh minus fl so if we can uh, find the value with the help of this formula you can find out the value of the q so uh, the quality factor is the important factor uh, in the band pass filter so here the some uh, other advantage of the narrow band pass filters are uh, its uh, center frequency fc can be uh, changed without changing the gain or bandwidth it can be accomplished simply by changing r2 to r2 dash so that r2 uh, dash this is the new uh, value of the resistor r2 so you can uh, find the new uh, value of the resistor r2 with the help of this formula r2 uh, that is already given so uh, this is r2 and uh, into fc upon new cutoff frequency fc dash and uh, upon uh, raised to power uh, 2 so here uh, it produces a 
tuned uh, circuit based on the negative feedback of the filter. This circuit will invert the phase of the signal and provide the higher value of Q, that is quality factor. So these are the uh, some uh, advantages of the narrowband pass filter. And here, this is the frequency response curve of the narrowband pass filter. So um, this uh, because uh, it has a narrower bandwidth. So as you can see over here, uh, the bandwidth is narrower in the uh, uh, narrow band pass filter and here these are the cutoff frequency this is high cutoff frequency and this is uh, FL this is the low cutoff frequency and this one is the center frequency FC so uh, you can calculate uh, the center frequency or you can choose the center frequency according to your application when you want to design the narrow band pass filter and uh, here this is the gain and this is the uh, frequency so uh, between the FH and FL this is your bandwidth so you can uh, uh, see uh, over here this is the uh, narrower bandwidth so this is the frequency response curve of the filter and here uh, this filter has uh, many applications so here these are the some applications of the narrowband pass filter so uh, this filter uh, is used in a wind profiler radar system a high performance ultra narrow band pass filter is used a uh, narrow band pass filter has been uh, developed for uh, its use in non linear junction detector to select the appropriate part of the spectrum optical blazers narrow band pass filter are used to provide high transmission on in specified wavelength regions and extremely high rejection outside the band in Infrared narrow band pass filter are used, and uh, there are so many applications of the narrow band pass filter. These filters are used in uh, audio uh, uh, pro uh, mixing or uh, production, etc., or even musical instruments, etc. So, uh, there are so many applications of the narrow band pass filter. Uh, in our next lecture, we will uh, also design the narrowband pass filter uh, with the help of uh, NI Multisim software. And uh, we will also discuss the various design steps to design the narrowband pass filter in detail. So uh, these are the some applications also uh, that are used in thermal imaging, temperature sensing, environmental monitoring, and anesthesia uh, monitoring, etc. Uh, and uh, in medical, biomedical, and industrial fields, this filter is also used. So uh, these are the uh, applications. Thank you for watching.